Welcome back to another Red Crucible Firestorm video, guys. Today, I'm kind of speechless. Anyways, yeah, looking at the screen, you guys can see that the Hellbender G and P have arrived in the store as a war chest. Now, if you guys first glance at it, it's going to be like, what the hell did they do to the Hellraiser? It looks like crap. What is that skin? Yeah. Um, how should I say this? RGS released an announcement on their forums today. Um, yeah, it basically sums up. I'm gonna sum it up. It basically just says, guys, we're never releasing the Hellraiser G again. But for those who have been wanting the Hellraiser G, we're releasing its predecessor, the Hellbender. Now, the Hellbender is literally the not the exact same thing. It's basically the Hellraiser G, a little bit nerfed, but it's basically a Hellraiser. Now, what RGS basically did to the Hellraiser was, well, they nerfed the stats a little bit, and as you guys can see here, they removed the freaking silencer. Yeah, now, you know, when I first saw this, I was like, holy shit, it's the Hellraiser. I need to get this right now. And then I saw it doesn't have the silencer anymore. Yeah, if it doesn't have the silencer, I don't think it's... I'm, I'm not gonna go for it, actually, because it's the Hellraiser. I mean, it is basically the Hellraiser. But comparing to my M1919 or M1919, because you guys complain that I keep saying M1919, that's just the fourth habit. I'm sorry. Compared to my M1919, which I spent like 250,000 honor points total getting, it kind of sucks. I mean, sure, magnification is more powerful, but, you know, that's expected. This has a scope, M1919, <sighs> M1919 does not. Damage the same, they're both two-shot kills. Accuracy, it's less accurate, less stable, has the same range, less fire rate, and less ammo. So what the heck is the point of getting this if I have the M1919? There is no point. So I'm not going to get it. I'm just going to rent it as usual. So yeah, we're going to just go take this thing for a spin. But to be honest, thank god. I mean, R RCF players have been complaining to never release the Hellraiser G again. Because they hate it. We all hate it. Whoever doesn't have it hates it. Whoever does is like laughing their faces off while they're murdering everyone because they're on a freaking rampage. So, if you always wanted the Hellbender G, just go for this thing, I guess. I mean, Hellraiser. God, this is confusing. And the Hellraiser G is now the Hellraiser P. The Hellraiser G was upgraded to the Hellraiser P, not the Hellbender, and will remain in players' inventories. The same model as before, it's not this freaking thing. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, we're going to jump into a match with this thing, and yeah, I, honestly, I think this was a smart move by RGS, because if they released the Hellraiser G, oh god, not only would they make a crap ton of money, all the players would quit, because everyone would have it, and it would not be fun anymore. So, I don't know, thumbs up to you, RGS. I mean, at least you didn't release the Hellraiser G. I mean, Hellbender, I'm okay with. The stats are pretty balanced, actually. So anyways, let's jump into a match. Okay guys, welcome back to Red Dawn. First off, you can guys can watch me fail this jump because third person and I'm using a brand new mouse, so if my aim sucks, I'm sorry. My mouse is two times bigger than it used to be. Now, remember how I said what the heck is the point of getting this weapon if I already have my M1919 that I already spent like 250,000 honor points getting? Well, Throw that out the window because I changed my mind after using this thing. Because as you guys know, stats always lie in this game. You can't always trust them and you need reviews or watching other people play with the weapon to know how it actually performs. Now, after using it for a match, this gun is totally worth it and I recommend you get it right now. It's basically the Hellraiser S, guys with slightly better stats than the Hellraiser S since this is a G variant, but it also has worse stats than the Hellraiser G, 
because RGS didn't want it to be too overpowered. And guess what, guys? It's still overpowered. So if RGS nerfs this thing, I'm gonna get kind of pissed off because, you know, I rather like this weapon. I'm actually gonna do a chest opening video on it after this gameplay. Um, in my next video that I will upload, I already have the footage. I bet you guys can't wait to see me fail and stuff, but yeah. The Hellbender G, guys. I mean, the skin itself, it's okay. But, as I was saying earlier, what I said before about not getting this thing, it's... Ignore what I said earlier. Ignore the first, like, three minutes of this video. Start actually listening now. Now, the scope is what makes this weapon extremely reliable and overpowered. Unlike the M1919, it does not have a scope. It has plain old iron sights. And sure, it's actually not half that bad. But the only problem I have with the M1919, and my biggest problem with the M1919, is the flash fire. Whenever you're shooting with the thing, you can't see anything. As you guys can see here, when I'm firing with the Hellbender G, there is no flash fire. As a result, I can actually see my opponent when I'm firing at them. With the M1919, it's like, aim at your enemy's face or general body, and shoot. And then pray. Spray and pray. Because you can't see them after you start firing, especially if it's long distance. Because the M1919 actually has a pretty good range, but there's really no point in that if you can't see your enemy. Now with the Hellbender G, you can actually see what you're firing at, and let me tell you, it is so much better. So, guys, if you've been one of those like Hellraiser beggars, oh, I want the Hellraiser RGS, why don't you release it? It's not coming back, guys. RGS said it themselves, it's retiring from Earth Crucible. It's never coming back. This is the second best thing you can get. It's basically the Hellraiser S, except 600 gold more expensive. Is it worth it still? Yes. It's a freaking Hellraiser. I don't need to make a video on this. It's a Hellraiser. Just go and buy it. Yeah, I'm just ranting right now, but seriously, this thing is totally worth it. Now, I'm probably going to get tired of this weapon in like two weeks or something, but as of right now, it's really freaking overpowered. And in two weeks, hopefully, we'll see a lot less people using this thing because it is overpowered as hell. And seriously, RGS, I mean, I am happy that you decided to never bring the Hellraiser back, but why would you make another weapon that's literally the exact same thing without a silencer? I mean, silencers are only helpful if you're just, like, camping somewhere and don't want people to know where you are. But, I mean, that's not really helpful anymore. Ever since you guys have added the, like, kill system where someone kills you, and that, like, right here, you can see where they killed you from, there's no point of a silencer. Unless if you're a sniper, or if you just don't want anyone else to know you're there. So, I mean, it's totally worth it, and the gun sounds okay, I guess. But, you know, it's a freaking Hellraiser. Go for it while you guys still can. And also, guys, quick update. I said I would be updating, uh, uploading the 1800 subscribers video Q&A today. I will be uploading that tomorrow night. I have not finished um, editing yet, and I still need to make the chest opening, you know, video that I will make later. Um, yeah. So I'm. We're, we're also literally like three subscribers away from hitting 1,800. 200 away. 203 away from hitting 2,000 subscribers, and I literally cannot wait. Now. I guess I'm going to end the video here because, you know, school starting in a week. I can't wait. Oh, God. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you guys can afford to go for this thing, seriously, go for it. You won't regret it.